Hello and welcome to another brief tutorial using multicharts.net. This is Colin from AMP Futures Trade Desk. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, with some new instruments that we have added from the Hong Kong and the Hang Seng Exchange. So we're going to show you how to add those symbols from the instrument manager and how to load them up and bring them onto your charts. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up a new chart. We're going to go File, New, Chart Window. First thing it's going to ask us is to find on this list where those symbols are. Of course, you'll see that they're not on the list, so we're going to actually have to add them. So we're going to go ahead and click Add Symbol. Make sure that the data source is CQG. We're going to add the symbol. We're going to click on the tab that's Future. Make sure that you click on this tab that says Future. Then we can go ahead and add those symbols. Uh, we have provided a symbol list with these new instruments. Contact our help desk to get a copy of that to make sure you know what the symbol is. And in this case, we're going to type in HSI. And if you go ahead and click Lookup, you'll see right there Hang Seng Index, January 2019. Okay, and all the dates that are available. Okay, so that's a January contract. So right now it's trading in May, so we're going to scroll down here. We're going to find you can see right there, May of 2018, HSIK18 for the Hang Seng Index. We're going to go ahead and add that. Make sure you click Add. It says one instrument added. Click OK. All right, we have a couple more to look at. We want the mini Hang Seng Index. So we're going to go ahead and type in MHI. And we already know it's trading May, so we can click K18. Okay, for 2018, go ahead and hit look up. And there it is, Mini Hang Seng Index. Highlight it and click Add. Okay, so now we've got two of them added. Let's go down our list again. Now we want the Hong Kong Index, so we're going to go H, H, I, and let's go ahead and hit look up. And you can see that's the Hang Seng China. Okay, the Hang Seng China Enterprises Index. I said Hong Kong, but I meant Hang Seng China Enterprises Index. So we're going to go down, see what the current month is trading, and we can see the first available one is May Contract, Hang Seng China Enterprises Index. We're going to go ahead and add that one as well. Click OK. And then we want to add the mini version of that. Now it's got a different symbol, so let's go ahead and uh, let's look that one up. It's going to be... M C H M for June and then we're going to click 18 and hit look up and it's going to tell you it's a mini Hang Seng China Enterprises index okay all right so now what we're going to do highlight it click add it's been added click OK we're going to go ahead and close this window now when we go here Actually, I think the best thing to do sometimes is you close this out, go back and go File, New, Chart Window, and then we're going to go ahead, let's add the first one that's going to be the HSI, and then first comes up, Hang Seng Index, and go ahead and click OK. And there's the chart, okay? If you want to see more data, you can right-click on the chart. Go to Format Instruments. Okay. Go to Settings. And you can change that to Days Back. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and add some of the other symbols. Right-click on the chart. Format Instrument. Go back to Instruments. Okay, we're going to add a mini. So we're going to go H, or rather M H I K. And there it is. Mini Hang Sign. Click OK. It's going to load up. You can see it's a little bit thinly traded as the other one. Right click on the chart again. Format Instruments. And this time we're going to go to the China Enterprises Index. 
H H okay and then the last one let's take a look at their mini format instruments and remember that one is M C H M and there it is for June and click OK Again, it looks like it's rather thinly traded, you can see that, but the main one seems to have a lot of activity. But that's how you're going to go ahead and pull that up. Let's do one more example. We're going to go File, New, and we're going to pull up the DOM. Okay, let's go ahead and put in the, Hong Kong, the Hang Seng Index, H-S-I-K-18. Since we already know what it is, we can just click it right in there, click enter, and it's going to pull up the dome. Okay, you can see the size right now is 5x5, five five. it's kind of quiet in that market right now. Let's take a look at the uh, China Enterprises, H-H-I-K-18, 8x2 in there. So it's kind of quiet right now, um, these are new markets. So as they pick up more activity, it'll be reflected here, and um, and then they should become quite a bit more active, um, especially that we're on the opposite end of the clock uh, than they are. Okay, put the June in. Let's take a look at that one and hit enter. So if it ever throws that, you can go search here for the instrument, and then we can put in M C H. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, very quiet in these markets right now, but this is how you're going to populate it. And uh, take a look, especially after hours, the activity should pick up. Okay? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our help desk, 1-800-560-1640, extension 1. will get you straight to the help desk, and uh, we can answer any questions that you have. As always, happy trading.